We have feelings, indicators, feelings are indicators of the energy that's around, emotions. Energy and motion are emotions, okay? These emotions are all around us. We start having feelings because of the emotions that are around us. Picking up what I'm putting down? So when you have feelings come up, they are telling you there's emotion around you that you have to look at. Emotions such as depression, emotions such as anxiety, emotions such as happiness, emotions such as love. And we start having feelings. Physical things happen when these emotions are swirling all around us. When you allow yourself to feel the feels and allow yourself to experience them, you become more open to the universe's direction. The universe starts to direct you on where you where you are, what you need to do to get out of where you are, or what you need to do to stay where you are, if it's happiness and love that you're feeling. When we sit in emotions, we've picked up the feeling, we're like, hmm, I'm having feelings about this. I have an acknowledge, I'm acknowledging and I have the awareness of the emotion that's around. When I sit with the emotion, sit in the emotion, allow the emotion to just be around me. I transmute energy that way. I'm saying I have anxiety around me. I'm not calling it me. I'm saying the energy of emotion, emotion around is anxiety. And in, in the way that I teach anxiety or the awareness of anxiety, anxiety is fear of the future. Anxiety is me being impatient in this moment because of something that's not yet happened that's going to happen in the future. Me wanting to bring it to me now or me having fear that it's not going to come to me at any time or even now. Okay. So when, when anxiety is, it's something about, it's something related to the future. I need to be grounded in my now. Right now, I need to be grounded because all I have is now. And the anxiety becomes overwhelming because what I'm trying to do is take me out of now and go forward. That can't, that's not a thing. So when we have feelings, feelings like tight chests, feelings like rapid heartbeat, we are acknowledging that there's anxiety that's around, okay? When we have anxiety around and we sit in the anxiety, okay? Sitting in it means I acknowledge that there's anxiety. I'm feeling it's related to, you know, um, we're purchasing a house right now. Okay, beautiful example. You guys are good. Right now we're in the midst of, of contract, okay? Everything's done. Literally everything's done. Everything's done. She's ready to close the file. We're ready to close. However, my husband's active duty military, so we're going through the VA. The VA does not like any type of chipping paint. Our deck, full length of the house, chipping paint. We were gonna tear it down and put vinyl decking up and all the home improvements that you wanna do. Well, in order to get a VA loan, it has to not be chipping. So we were like, okay, well, we want to make this big improvement, but we didn't want to do it first. We wanted to be able to do kitchens and bathrooms and all kinds of things, right? Well, they said, sorry, but you have to paint the deck. So we've been stripping the deck and doing all the things we need to do, but it's been raining. And because it's been raining and because we used a pressure washer, the wood is wet. So if the wood doesn't dry, the paint can't be held. And if we don't paint it, we can't say it's done. We can't say it's done. The appraiser won't come back out. The appraiser doesn't come back out. They won't close the file. If they don't close the file, we don't close. Ah, we get a little nervous about this because Kevin has to leave for 45 days to go and do the soldier thing. So anxiety could and has, we'll be honest, it has been around. It's been around. I've seen this reading energy. I've seen this feeling energy. I felt this understanding energy, I understand it's there and why it's there. Now, this is what I've done. God, I wanna high five these guys. <laughs> I acknowledge that what's for my highest good and the highest good of all involved, meaning myself, my husband, my children, and the sellers, because we're close with the sellers, the landlords, is to sell this house and to receive it and to have them done with it and to be officially in here. Does that make sense? I know the universe works. I know the universe works in our favor for the highest good of all involved. So I know the universe has got this. I am gonna get in the way if I get anxious about the process. If I question, oh my God, what if it doesn't come to fruition? What am I gonna do? This is gonna create anxiety and ripples or bubbles in the energy that get in the way of achieving what it is that my desire is, which is to close on this house sooner than later so that we're all done with it. I have sat with this energy 
and acknowledge that it's there because there's no, you can't bullshit. It's there. Why it's there, how I want things to unfold, I've looked at it, felt it, talked to it, heard it, acknowledged it, journaled it, meditated on it, and then I release to my guides. They know what needs to get done. I don't need to remind them every morning. Okay, what can we do today to get us closer to this? What do we need to look at today that's going to get us closer to this? When we sit in the energy and become very well aware of why it's there, we then have solutions readily available to us. 